think that COVID-19 has unveiled lots of challenges in the healthcare sector in Africa. Let's start with the resilience and the fragility of our system, which almost crippled our response capability across Africa. I think second, the lack of preparedness and investment in the sector was also felt across the African continent in the way we dealt with COVID-19. And last but not least, uh, limited production capacity was felt, particularly in rolling out vaccine across Africa because most countries were protecting themselves and using their own product and production to support their own countries. So to me, the two actually action that should be learned from that, number one, is the importance for national government, regional government, or even continental organization like the African CDC at the AU, but also WHO to come together and make sure that we can learn from the resilience questions, from the lack of preparedness, to make sure the next crisis run in Africa or around the world, Africa is well prepared. What tangible policies do you think could help move this conversation forward and bring meaningful change within the healthcare system? I think there are a couple of things. I will look forward to the next uh, national budget of our governments. The investment going to the healthcare sector will be substantive in a way that shows that we learn from the COVID situation. Right. I think second, the different strategy partnerships have been formed because of COVID-19, but in the private sector, international organization, and WHO and so on. And so many COVID initiatives have been launched in many African countries. The question is, how do you sustain that? so that at the next crisis around, we won't be caught active by surprise. And I'm hoping to the leadership of the African Union and the CDC and other organization, we can sustain that type of partnership. We, ha we have seen vaccine manufacturing companies set shop, particularly uh, Aspen in South Africa. We've had those conversations in East Africa, in Kenya um, and Senegal. But one of the key challenges we saw was uh, they were not able to get enough orders for this vaccine. The, the capacity uh, to roll out vaccines within the continent. How do we deal with that mismatch? I think a couple of things have to happen. Number one is a mind uh, set that needs to be shift mm -hmm. in a way that we believe that vaccine solutions don't have to come from outside. They can come from within Africa. So therefore, we can put all the manufacturing plan in place, but if we don't change the mindset, obviously, the vaccine that we're producing will not be sent to where it's needed. That's number one. Number two, beyond just the vaccine, there's a lot to be done in the supply chain system, whereby the distribution of vaccine can be done in a way it was sent to where it's needed across Africa.